Hi, my name is Lauren. On behalf of Expert Village, I'm here to discuss short curly locks with you. Now many people today do not know the proper use of a curling iron. They know it's meant to curl hair, but they don't necessarily know the benefits of the curling iron. The curling iron can also create smoothness. When you use the curling iron, your little duckbill wants to go with your curl. I start at the base, drag it down, which will the heat will actually almost work as a flat iron and create that smoothness. And then you want to roll with the duckbill in order to create that perfect curl. If you roll against that duckbill, what you're going to create is a very weird kink going in the hair because you're going to be going against where the curling iron should. Many women, women end up with a kink on the end of their curls such as this one because they do not use the duckbill properly. If you want your curl to go back, you are going to put the duckbill on the front of your hair and then roll back with it, allowing the hair to wrap around evenly that duckbill. If you are going to roll your hair forward, you want to put the duckbill behind where you're going to roll and then you're going to go up towards the hair, towards the scalp, and then that way it'll form a nice tight curl without any kinks or any mess ups. You can see it's very hard to get that kink out once the kink is put in. If you do get that kink in, I suggest allowing your curling iron to almost sit on that kink spot for just a few seconds and then re-roll that curling iron. So that way you can kind of break that kink out and it'll wind up forming a nicer, softer curl.